Joburg's hottest breakfast show. Joburg's hottest breakfast, hot 91.9. Great to have you in the studio. Haven't seen for many, many years. The wonderful Sandy Smith. Hi, Sandy. Good morning and morning to all of your listeners. Happy yeah, New Year to ha- everybody. Exactly. I mean, we've passed it. December's tomorrow. I know. I can't, yes. I can't believe... It's been so many years, and you remember my birth date and, and numbers. And, yeah, and, and I still remember the last time I said to you, please watch your driving. And he left the studio, and he nearly had an accident at the intersection. That's Whoa. right. Yeah. Alpha drivers, eh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> alpha drivers. She's better than BMW drivers, Ooh. Mr. Hill. Senior. I don't know, where did VW come into this? I no, mean, nowhere. everybody knows BMW's no, 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 the worst drivers. Nowhere. They, they, nowhere. VW's still got to pay all of the billions for the diesel gate. <laughs> anyway, listen, Sandy, before we get into all, because we have a couple of people who've asked us if you can help them with their numbers. Yes. For those who maybe don't know, what is numerology? So numerology, first of all, um, I don't do conventional numerology. This is a system that I developed my, on my own. All right. So your name is the map of your life, and every letter in the alphabet has a numeric value. So you, every letter, as the first letter is your first um, nine years of your life, first five years of your life, should I say, and then it continues. And it will tell you it just in your name when you'll get married, if you'll go to jail, if you'll have children, if you will uh, um, be defrauded or if you'll have a heart attack. Oh, but then you take your date of birth and when you put the numbers of each individual of your names that is on your birth certificate with your date of birth, it tells you how you wake up in your day, what you will do in your day and what are your, your, your talents, your weaknesses, your strengths. And then the famous thing for conventional numerologists is when you add your day, month, and year, and you keep adding until you get down to the lowest digit, that's your life path. And they always say, oh, shame. Meantime, the life path is is not the negative of, because every number's got a black and white side to it, and it's All how right. you use it. So you can choose to be a murderer if you want to, or you can choose to be a, 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 a an engineer, whatever you know All what right. I mean. So, so are there? If you, if in, in normal numerology, if I sort of understand, you're looking for the lowest number, correct? No, that's just in the life path because in numerology, okay. you only you have 18 numbers in total. You've got one to nine, then you've got the power numbers 11, 22, 33, 44, etc. All right. But when you look at a person's name and their date of birth, you can and you get to the row of numbers, you can actually start to get a story about the person. And what my system will do is not make, if you and I are born on the same day, conventional numerology makes us the same and we're not. Of course. So, How did you devise the system? How did, how did you work on, on you taking... You know, I was leaving the music industry, okay? Yeah. So, or put it this way, I thought to myself, if I leave the music industry, where am I going to go? Mm-hmm. What am I going to do? I, and you know, it, it, you're at a time where you actually don't even realize that you've got any qualities because you're not in a good space. So I started investigating and et cetera, and then I got a family tree book, which was not a good idea of my mother's. <laughs> um, and that's where I actually uh, put my formula in there. But because what I do, I had nobody to bounce off. So then I went and studied astrology and handwriting analysis and face profiling and blah, blah, blah. And then when I wrote my astrology exam, I kind of lost the plot in astrology and I wrote it just using my numerology and I got over 100%. Wow. How do you get over 100%? Because I could actually say more about the person um, than what than, conventional. Than, than, than what even the astrology in what I'd learned was just a foundation course. I basically had taken myself to two different le- higher levels in astrology. Okay. So they actually sure. thought I was cheating. <laughs> meantime. Meantime, you had devised your own. 100%. Okay, that's so it. So it's 25 it's years now I've been doing this. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. I started when I was managing Miriam Makeba, and because she, um, her mother was a Sangoma, she loved all of this stuff. So behind the scenes, she, you know, I would always be doing things for her, whatever. So it started to build while I was still managing her. And then um, one day I decided that that was that, and this started taking off. And then Quibbers Visa invited me onto a show through Sharon Raveni. Oh my gosh, really? Yes. Gee um, whiz. And I went into the predictions on the cricket and I mean, I don't know anything about cricket. <laughs> yeah. And we were playing England. <laughs> yes. And I predicted the who would be the umpires, who what would happen to the South Africa England game? And I mean, I didn't even watch the game. And then somebody came to me on the Sunday evening and said, and shook my hand, this total stranger. 
and said you were spot on because I did the predictions on the Wednesday and the game was on the Saturday. Okay, now these are predictions. All right. For example, people would sit there and say, and I kept we kept saying a little earlier, you're not a psychic, you are a Sandy Smith, a yes. numer- numerologist or whatever, yes. but you can predict things. Yes. But we always ask the question, how come we don't, there's 90 million bucks in the lottery here today. Well, I've had two winners. Have you? Yes, I have. All right. Well, listen, let's not share with everybody else, Sandy. (laughs) Can I share share my money with you? (laughs) That's what everybody says. And I'm going, hell no, they're never going to give you 10 cents. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) The first two winners of the first lottery ever in South Africa, one of them was my first um, winner. Wow. Sure. And to all the listeners out there, I don't do a lot of numbers for people. It takes me about six weeks. And if you're going to pay me $10 million, I'll do it. There, well, there we go. Okay. So we get loads of people now sending in their numbers, et cetera, et cetera. But let's – 2018, um, a big year we know for South Africa, a oh, big a, year for the world or whatever. Well, how, how now do you go about – Predicting looking or looking at, at, at this year. Okay, so first of all, 2018 adds to an 11, and mm-hmm. that is a power number, and that 11 also adds to a 2. So in all power numbers, you'll still get the lower number. So what happens with this is that the year actually has caused an effect on people who have a 7 life path. So if you add your day, month, and your year, and you keep adding down to your lowest number, none of you are 7s here, 7 life paths. But um, this is your critical year. This is where it's going to test you. But the number 11 is very important because the first thing what an 11 means is water. So, but what does 2,999 mean? It means water. It means that Mother Earth, her waters are breaking. So she's shifting all of the boundaries about water. And we know about, everybody's saying it's about the eco, but it's also about the cycles of water. But the 11 has got a lot of cause and effect because certain uh, people or countries or or stock markets, whatever, have got a lot of 11s. So Donald Trump, double hidden 11s. America double hidden 11s, North and South Korea double hidden 11s, China double hidden 11s, Australia double hidden 11s, Israel double hidden 11s, um, Palestine double hidden 11s. So there, is, and then oh, a Theresa May double hidden 11. So okay. is the UK. How do how do how do, so, how do you get those double hidden 11s by doing all of the numbers yes. when they ex- started existed? So first of all, America is born on the fourth of July, nine, 1776. So four and seven is an 11. Okay. Uh, Donald Trump is born on the fourteenth of June. Four and one is five. Plus six, 11. 11. Okay, cool, right. cool, cool. I just so, want to know that. Yeah. So what happens here is what what is an 11? If you are a person or a company or a country, you're supposed to be doing what Obama did. He reached out. He put a hand out to Cuba and a hand out to Iran. He said, how can we work together? What is it that you need? And this is what I need. And they joined hands because that one plus one equals a two. Oh. So then you get Trump who's trying to separate all of that. And he, 11 is about threatening as well. But 11 is meant to be upright, standing. It's about the universe. It's about everybody. It's not about just uh, um, the two who's got the bigger buzzer, etc. So he is threatening and then he pulls back and then he threatens and he comes backwards and forth. So he's going to cause a ripple effect around the world. He's already doing that. And it's going to bounce back on him. But South Africa... Yeah. Our age is 56. We were born on the 31st of May, 1961. We are age adds to an 11. As of May, we go into an 11 personal. The ANC is currently in an 11. Um, sure. Cyril Ramaphosa is born on the 17th of the 11th, but he's in a double 11 year. So he's going to try. He is like Obama. He wants to get people to come together. But the ANC is in the personal 11 year, which says there's division. And the division would have started two months ago before their birthday on the 8th of Jan. So there's a, there's a split there that is definite. The ANC will not survive after 2020. Yo. So they have to. That's big. So we've got, we've had, you know, we had the national party, we've had the one extreme, we've now had the other extreme. So our 2019, um, we will be in a three uh, year, which is to actually get everybody to join hands and there'll be a collective that will be um, in government. And that's going to be 2019? Yes. Okay, listen, it's very interesting, it's very complicated. Um, So let's just get into a song. And then we'll chat, <laughs> we'll chat more about it. Uh, but yeah, there's some interesting 
uh, well, your predictions coming out are ready, and we'll go through a lot more during the course of the the next sort of forty five minutes. Okay. You must get a lot of skeptics. No, not anymore. I mean, I would get. I rather get people who say my religion doesn't allow me to do this. Okay. Um, my black client base is probably about 65% because that's our ratio in South Africa. Yeah. But they come from a culture where there are Sangormas and, and healers and traditional healers, etc. So um, only if they are very staunch Christian do they kind of have a doubt. But the Bible is full of numbers and it says in the Old Testament, I hold the key to your numbers until you, it's, I'm using my own words, until yeah, yeah. you get to know yours. And that's okay. in the Old Testament. Interesting, because I mean, somebody goes here and goes, uh, "Can you hear me roll my eyes?" Oh, a lot of people roll their eyes, but I'll I can change that in five minutes. Give me the, get get them to give me their birth date, and let's see if I can roll them the other way around. <laughs> there we go. Okay, um, before we uh, we we've got so many people who have sent in their their numbers. Yes. So, if you want to, you can with absolute pleasure. Oh eight four double two one two nine one nine. Don't write that down, Sonny. That's just how you smell. No. So we need to know if you're male or female, and of course your date of birth. But before we talk about that, one of the the big buzzwords over the last couple of years, and specifically the last few months, of course, is cryptocurrency and Bitcoin. Yes. Now. How have you looked at at this? So I look, I've, I I do all my research now. I look for a formation date. I look for, um, you know, when it was first launched. I'm looking for a birth date. All right. Okay. okay. So my first one that I that I've got here is Bitcoin, not Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin. Yes. And they have come out of two years that internally in Bitcoin there has been fraud, power games, mismanagement. It's it's like talking Steinhoff stuff. All right. Externally, it's doing incredibly well. From its birthday on the 3rd of January, which has just recently passed, they're now in their life path year. So there's a complete renewed focus now. But no, we, you've kind of heard some sort of news about um, how with Bitcoin, how there's been some game playing. But externally, it's just flying. Okay. And, and I think that actually with Bitcoin, um, where it is now, there's going to be hacking, there's going to be um, system collapses, there's definitely going to be some viruses that have been going around. And I believe that the technology of the Bitcoin and its doors are not as secure as you think they are. Ah. And from January in 2019, I see two years that will be very good for Bitcoin. Okay, But the most important thing I say to people, if you don't listen to somebody who is promoting on a Facebook page because you don't know who you're dealing with and you still don't know who is behind Bitcoin because the Bitcoin guy released a video in early December with the coin on his face saying that he wants to take down the dollar and the euro. It's interesting that the euro is also double hidden 11s and it's going into four years so the euro is in trouble regardless of what they want to do but I think what he meant to say is he wanted he wants to take down banking because if he's going to take down the dollar and the euro Mm. where do you want to cash your bitcoin you might want to cash euro so you've bought it at this price in Mm, ratio to the south african Mm. rand you're not going to win so you've got to be very careful so you so your prediction uh or assessment is that Going to be a problematic year. Yes. Now. Yes. But then next year it should. It, and the following year, recover. so 2019 and 2020. But then I look at Bitcoin Cash. Yes. And they call it it's a forked. It was forked off of uh, Correct. Bitcoin. Okay. That's recent. That's Nana. No. Yes. So that's m- 2017. Yeah. The first I look at of my August is forked. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's the first of August 2017, um, and it's actually in the year of misfortune and then i feel that um bitcoin cash is is got a very good year only from august of this year for one year and then it's got three very bad years oh, so i'd be great. very nervous about bitcoin she's um, really stuffed this one up eh, and, and one of one of the <laughs> reasons i'm going to say this is i know somebody personally who has lost ninety thousand off of bitcoin cash because the gateways were not closed properly and somebody used her simple email address and took her money. And Bitcoin mm. Cash, if you want to invest like a million or 10 million or whatever it is, unless they, uh, you, 
you can invest, but if somebody wants to pull their money out, they've got to have a buyer equal before they'll give you your money. So you've got to be very careful about um, the, the, these cryptocurrencies. Then we go to Ripple, born on the 8th of um, April 2012. Um, and they are not in a good time. They are for two years. So from April of last year to April of 2019, they'll only start to resurface, resurface, okay. not not do a massive bingo. Um, so that's 17, 18, 2019. Um, 2020, not so good. 2021, definitely not good. 2022, different story. Sure. Ethereum, born on the 30th of the 7th, 2015, are in a terrible year. Wow, it's doing brilliant. So, well. Jeez. so you see what they're doing is they're showing you fortune, but there is misfortune. The turning of their middle of their year is the 30th of January. So be very careful about the losses because they're in a, uh, they've got uh, two, four, they've got eight ones, which a one, one and means fortune, but they've got eight ones, which means misfortune. So be very careful. Sure, okay. And if anybody wants, my YouTube is up. I've got all the cryptocurrencies on my YouTube, Sandy's Numerology. <laughs> all right, we'll, uh, we'll talk more about that. We want, we want to find a little bit more about South Africa as well. And yes. then, of course, we'll go through. Lo- we've got so many coming through here, and we'll try and get through as many as possible people who would like to have their numbers read. So Sandy Smith is our guest today. Wonderful to have her in the studio again. You can go check out um, on her webpage, numerology.co.za. Otherwise, Sandy Numerology on Twitter. Facebook Sandy's Numerology with a hyphen and Instagram Sandy's Numerology as well. Go and check out uh, all of your platforms. And of course, you've got your YouTube channel as well. It's new. It's and you're uh, loving it. Listen, I'll tell you something. In under one and a half weeks, I did 10,000 and I'm now close to 20 at the moment. Amazing. So I've got 22 shows up. I'm filming six tomorrow. And the UK and Theresa May will be loaded this morning. Brilliant. Go and check it out. So YouTube channel, Sandy's Numerology as well. Okay. Let's get into some of our, uh, we, we, I promise you, inundated on our <laughs> WhatsApp here today. But these we asked for from day one. So let's, I think it's only fair, let's start with Charmaine. It's a lady. Mm-hmm. 23 mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. 7, 1972. Okay. Right. And you just now work this all out quickly. You do. Yes. Yeah, it's got to be. Okay. It's like long division what she's doing. Mm. So, Charmaine, um, first of all, her mother would be a person that would be very dominant in her life and probably a little bit domineering. But Charmaine is very artistic and creative. She's got actually got fame in her numbers. And when I say fame in the numbers, it means that you will work in industries that you have access to the public and vice versa. So, like you guys, this is, you know, public, what I do, I'm. People access me, I access them. Mm-hmm. Um, she's a little bit um, a comp- uh, too compromising. She's got an eight life path which says that she doesn't go to doctors when she should. Um, she goes when it's too late and she self medicates. And she's coming out of her life path here, which is the eight. So she's had. Um, issues around her colon around her lower back area but things are going to start to lift and shift for her because she's going into an awesome money money year good career um for her to have her own business she should actually own probably three two of them working together one separate um and she's it's brilliant for 2018 into 2019 very very good okay very interesting. There we go, Charmaine. Take that one. Let's give you um, another one. Uh, wait, hold on. Let's get you one over here. Uh, let's go down. And let's go. Alistair, he's a male. Mm-hmm. 130373. Okay. <laughs> so it's so interesting because he too has a very dominant mother. Um Right. Also, double hidden seven. So he also out there. I mean, he's got cars, planes, boats, trains. Um, he's also very texture. He's orientated. He's he's a man that the girls would say he's like a teddy bear. He is huggable. Okay. All right. Um, very sensitive. Very emotional. He's in a very strong year. He's in a very good money year. He's changing. I think he started two years ago where he was starting to change direction um, with his ideas and everything. And last year he would have been um, directionless. And this is up until March of uh, this year. And he's been trying to find his way. Um, And a lot of communication, a lot of drama, a lot of excesses. 
going into his life path, which is a nine. So you're going into a chill year. So you, it's kind of like you're going to gain some traction, but it's very thinking. And from the middle of your year, which will be um, s- September, the 13th of September, your thinking will now become the doing. And there is also in your 2019 is where you start to shine. That's also one of your best money years as well. So a lot of career things that are happening around you that are absolutely brilliant. There we go. Very interesting. Listen, uh, we got a very long message here from somebody um, who uh, is saying, you know, we've got, to, we've, got to, we've got to give it to you this way. We asked you a little bit earlier. Somebody rolled their eyes. Yes. Somebody says, I'm very disappointed to listen to an unqualified person airing her untested and unscientific opinions as it holds no fa- any factual truth. Well, unfortunately, I've been predicting and doing this for uh, for 25 years. Um, in the April of 2001, I wrote an article that went into a magazine in the July and I predicted September 11th. I also predicted that the gold price would shift on the 15th of September of that year. <laughs> and, yeah, you know. Um, you are going to get doubters. I mean. Oh, no. And I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Yeah. But, 25 years I've been doing this. Yeah, that's cool. Well, I'm just, I'm, I'm just going further. It says, in the spirit of fairness, as a follow-up, you should invite a qualified person to give an opinion on air relating to the fact that numerology is mainly based on unqualified opinion combined with mere coincidence and a play on numbers. So who would we get into question? I mean, I don't know. Well, would anybody maybe know? you have to get him in. I think so. I'm going to get hold of this person. <laughs> Clearly, they have a tremendous opinion. We, we can read it now because they've said they're not listening to the station. So you know, that's <laughs> changed the station this morning because oh, it's unbelievable. Wow. Um, we didn't no name. No, of course not. Of course not. <laughs> but don't worry. We have their number. Okay, let's give, you, let's give you one more here. This one. Female, 26 January, 2601, 1998. Okay. So um, bright, fast, quick and intelligent, uh, good communicator, good organizer, good coordinator, over thinks things spend too much time inside of your head um you've been in a pretty good year this past year but it's more about identifying where you are going it's also about your career it's also about your money but it's also about your own business um if you are currently employed um and not in your own business cv must be out in the marketplace all the way through to 2019 let me just see here um 2020 there's going to be offers. So whether you are wanting to change careers, start your own business, opportunities of uh, contracts, deals, partnerships, investors, formulating partnerships with people. So you are actually going to be in a double 11 year in 2018. So this is what is so important. I mean, in 2019, this year that you've been in until 26 January, till your birthday in 2019 is how you formulate your partnerships. And you can't get into threatening situations. You've got to join hands with people. The minute you want to join hands, there's going to be huge opportunities for you too. But you're going to be very unsettled on the home front, very undecided. And when you are undecided, then don't rush to make a decision. A lot of legal issues around you as well. So watch your contracts and your signing of your contracts. All right. There we go. Okay. Well, listen, we've still got about another 15 minutes. you got something there, Sai? Me personally? No. You've got my numbers, Sandy. Okay, so Simon's born on the 30th of August, 1984. And interesting enough, you have double hidden 11s. So, and mm-hmm. um, something is happening around the home front, around um, property and and um, relationships. And um, it's, it's, it's not the greatest year, but it's... Don't of, sugarcoat it, Sandy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So give it to us. Hard. So I just want you to be aware that you're in the year of loss of material items. So this could just be a cell phone, but you've got to watch for the things that have a resale value, like car or home or whatever. Um, on the work front, um, you've got some very good ideas and some ideas that you've had, you've been wanting to implement, which would have started being implemented probably around about November of December of this year. 
focus. You've got to watch for technology issues around your uh, computers and that and viruses, etc. Only from your birthday in August of this year do you take a new direction. Need to watch your car, something mechanical, chemical, electrical, technical. Keep an eye on that until your birthday. Uh. And then from your birthday, um, there's a big shift in lift career-wise. There's money on the improve. So, um, hello, Woo! Lloyd. Woo! <laughs> nice. Woo! Lloyd is the boss, I hear. So, I think you might get an increase. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you're going into an awesome public year as well. So, there's a lot more um, of you, you being seen and noticed out there in the public eye. Sandy and me? <laughs> okay, so John is born on the 10th of the 12th, and when you add 10 and 12, it becomes a 22, which adds to a 4. And interesting that Sasha is born on the 22nd as mm-hmm. well. So, so this is my favorite number. I don't have it because I have no boundaries. Um, I'll jump off a cliff and think later. Where John and, and Sasha will go and check out the jump like a couple of times before yes. they'll jump. Um, very cautious. Property, one of the best areas of investment for both of them. Um, very, uh, no no map, no plan, no can do, so they don't do surprises. Um, so, Sasha, you've got double hidden eight, and John, you've got an eight life path. So it says that your life path says that you need, like I said about the other clients, Charmaine, yeah. you need to go to doctors and rather understand about your health and then mm. know how to treat it. Don't uh, self-medicate. Um, and um, not in the easiest year on the home front. I want you to watch your taxes, number one, because <laughs> these things have not been up to date there last year and this year. And don't trust your accountants and bookkeepers because they're not John doing the job. For yeah. John. For John. <laughs> for John. Um, and um, there's some difficulties on the home front. So you've got to watch the people that you think you can trust. So I'm opening the whole of the home area because it's, it's all about money and relationships and it's about honesty and dishonesty honesty and you know that you're a straight shooter you like things to be neat and tidy Um, on the work front you're in the same year as Simon so this actually is really nice because it puts the two of you on track and in sync and this is all about um, reconnecting with people and even me connecting with you today this is so awesome (laughs) And, um, and the recognition and people starting to hear you and see you and come to you with ideas as you can go to them with ideas from your birthday in December coming up um, there's also a lift and a shift and a change in direction, which is really good. And also, I think, Lloyd, you better put your hands in your pocket. You're going to be digging yeah, some you deep darling. here. Yeah, you darling. I love it. Um, also, the other thing, um, John, you also need to just watch around that car thing as well, what I've said to Simon too. So. Boy. We all drive the same car. Exactly. <laughs> okay, we better, so we better get hold of Mario. Well, there you go. So it's that car that needs mechanical, electrical, technical, chem. You need to watch that. Okay. All right. All right. For Sasha. Yes. Okay. So um, you've been in a health year on the home front. Um, all about colon um, and um, back and this, the your spine was the vertebra. Um, on the the work front, you're in the collective, you're in a celebratory. It's all about invitations and gatherings, etc. And there's going to start being, so there's been some restructuring that's been going on around you on the work front. And there's, there's uh, new structures need to be put in place and new foundations that need to be laid around the work front. Mm-hmm. And it's about the paperwork, Sasha. Oh, and gosh. you know, you have got triple fours, which makes you a paperwork person. If you don't have what it is that you need when you're here in studio, Studio, you wouldn't be here in the studio. Yo, Am okay. I right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I okay. like it. I like it a lot. Um, let's finish off with. Oh, well, I'm going to say one other thing. If yes. you don't look after your back, you're going to have a spine fusion. Be very careful. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm, I'll, I'll do that. Do you sit up straight? Is there anything on on exercising and on Sasha's? Well, he's an extreme. <laughs> he's an extreme, starting to. He's an extremist, so it's all or it's nothing. You must remember that you know going to gym I'm only makes you obsessive. sick. It doesn't make you healthy. Yeah. So it's more about a balanced way of life and how you do things because with eights and all three of you, Simon, John, and Sasha, have got eights. So when you pick up something, you use your whole body to do it. So that's even how you're just sitting here at the desk. You use your whole body. You don't sit down and hmm. be, 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 you know what I mean? So careful. Okay, careful. We'll, we'll do. Let's, off, let's end off with our fabulous little Andy. Andy. I mean, Andy's just got the best numbers. Do I? Yes. <laughs> you see how she's got this little laughter. So everything about Andy is... 
colorful and light and engaging and smiling and laughing and 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 bringing people around but you're very independent you're self-driven you're a leader you since your birthday last feb up to this feb on the 10th of feb um you have your career has taken a change of direction already your money has been on the improve and you're going into a year of extremes so you are not going to be sitting still around the home front um i just want you to be very mindful of your monetary uh, management of monetary things and there's some relationship issues here too Uh Ahoy. Ahoy. Good or bad? No vegan. Um, I would say um, I'm putting up a billboard. It's a warning. It's a big warning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Listen, Sandy, we could go on all day. The, the, the lines are crazy here, but um, we're going to have to end it there. It's just so wonderful to see you. And it's good to see you guys and hear and, some good old music and that as well. Yeah, and, and great to have, you know, a different kind of perspective of things on air as well. You know, there are people who are going to be uh, skeptics of, of all of this. And, and, and so be it. And also, it's also one of those things where... What what has been said, and if 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 Sandy did mention your numbers, et cetera, et cetera, doesn't necessarily mean it it is how you must live your life. No, the whole thing is what I like to do. Is I can give you a heads up, whether it's positive or negative. Just listen to me, so that when you walk into your life and something happens, you're going to go, mm, "Sandy said that," and instead of you wanting to punch that person, you now want to get into a conversation with them. There we go. That's simple. Sure. Go and check out uh, all of Sandy's uh, stuff if you'd like to. And you can email her, sandy at numerology.co.za. That must be a very busy email address. It's a very busy email address. I just got 6,000 in the other day. So all I'm going to say to people, if you want an appointment, I do consult. Um, you can email me. That would be great. Sandy at numerology.co.za. And then, of course, uh, go to numerology.co.za. On your webpage, you'll have all of your links to all of 100%. your social media platforms. Absolutely. And don't forget her new YouTube. YouTube channel. Yes, yes, yes. Sandy's Numerology. Yes. Thank you Wonderful so much. to see you. Wonderful. Thanks so much thank for coming you for to join me us. And thank Thanks, you, Andy. Andy. There we go. 25 minutes after 8 o'clock. It's a great show. hottest breakfast show. Sasha Martiningo. Andy Levy. John Wallen. Simon Hill. Weekdays from 6 to 9. Hot 91.9.